Hello friends, welcome to TechOS channel. This is for the medical technologies by your tech. In this video, we will discuss about C-reactive protein. C stands for the serum of the patient with acute inflammation that reacted with the cell wall, the C polysaccharide of pneumococcus. Reactive protein stands for acute phase proteins. Acute phase proteins are a class of proteins that are increased or decreased levels in blood plasma in response to inflammation. CRP is one of the positive reactive phase protein that means it increases the level in response to infection or inflammation. So CRP levels are increased in infection or any inflammation. It doesn't give any single cause or disease. Positive acute phase proteins serve their physiological functions within the immune system. Some act to destroy or inhibit growth of microbes. C-reactive protein, mannose binding protein, complement factors, ferritin. Procoagulant proteins may limit infection by trapping pathogens in local blood clots. Negative acute phase proteins decrease in inflammation. Example, albumin transferring. These decreased levels also can be used for diagnosis. The decreased levels of these proteins to save to produce positive acute phase proteins and also in availability to the pathogens for their pathogenesis and their growth. Functions in response to injury, local inflammatory cells that are neutrophil granulocytes and macrophages secretes many cytokines into the bloodstream. Cytokines are small proteins important in cell signaling. Due to their size, cytokines cannot cross the lipid bilayer of the cells to enter the cytoplasm. So they interact with specific cytokine receptors on the target cell surface. Interleukin-6 is secreted by macrophages in response to specific microbial molecules. Smooth muscle cells in the tunica media of many blood vessels also produce interleukin-6 as pro-inflammatory cytokine. Interleukin-6 and other cytokines that trigger the synthesis of C-reactive protein and fibrinogen by the liver. In response to a wide range of acute and chronic inflammatory conditions such as bacterial, viral or fungal infections, rheumatic and other inflammatory diseases, malignancy and tissue injury and necrosis. Increased level of CRP binds to phosphocholine on microorganisms and assists in complement binding to foreign substances and damaged cells and enhances phagocytosis by macrophages. This process is called opsonin-mediated phagocytosis. In simple, CRP tags the foreign substances and damaged cells for the easy identification of phagocytes for phagocytosis. Normal range. In healthy adults, the normal concentration of C-reactive protein varies between 0.8 mg per liter to 3 mg per liter and in some healthy individuals this can go up to 10 mg per liter. Decreased level of C-reactive protein are seen in liver failure because liver produces the CRP. Interferon alpha inhibits the CRP production from liver. C-reactive protein between 3 mg per dl to 10 mg per dl is a normal or minimal elevation seen in pregnant women or people with diabetes, depression, obesity or smoking. It may also indicate the risk of cardiovascular disease. Between 10 mg per liter to 100 mg per liter is called moderate elevation observed in people with cancer, autoimmune disease, heart attack and bronchitis. Between 100 milligrams per liter to 500 milligrams per liter is called marked elevation in people with acute bacterial infection, viral infection or trauma. Above 500 milligrams per liter is a 
severe elevation seen in bacterial infections. The plasma of life of C reactive protein is 19 hours and is constant in all medical conditions. C reactive protein can increase as much as 50 to 100 milligrams per liter within 4 to 6 hours in mild to moderate inflammation such as skin infection, cystitis and bronchitis. It can double every 8 hours to reach its peak at 36 to 50 hours following injury or inflammation. Once inflammation subsides, C-reactive protein level falls quickly because of its relative short half-life time. Lab diagnosis. Semi-quantitative latex agglutination methods were used in earlier days. ELISA, immunoturbidometry, nephrometry, and radial immunodiffusion methods are used nowadays. Immunoturbidometric methods are used in automated analytical instruments. The antigen antibody complex aggregate to form particles that can be optically detected by photometer. Light is passed through a filter creating a light of known wavelength that is passed through a quid containing a solution of antigen antibody complex. A port of cell collects light that passes through the quid. A measurement is then given for the amount of observed light. C-reactive protein, the analytical range is 0.18 to 165 milligrams per liter. And for high sensitive C-reactive protein, the analytical range is 0.5 to 10 milligrams per liter. Total allowable error, according to CAP, it is 2SD. According to American Association of Bioanalysts, it is 0.4 milligrams per liter. There are three levels of QC available commercially. The calibrators are used for C-reactive protein or multi-calibrators. That means we have many levels. Usually five to six levels are used because the standard curve is not a linear curve. It's a non-linear curve. For linearity, we have five different levels commercially available. C-reactive protein relation to ESR erythrocyte sedimentation rate. ESR levels are raised in inflammation like CRP and also in non-inflammatory conditions. Plasma albumin concentration, size, shape and number of RBCs, concentration of immunoglobulins can affect the ESR. Anemia, kidney failure, obesity, aging and female sex can raise the ESR values. ESR and C reactive protein generally together correlate with the degree of inflammation. But normal ESR values are seen in combination of infections, myocardial infraction and thromboembolism. ESR begins to raise at 24 to 48 hours after the onset of acute self-limiting inflammation and decreases slowly as inflammation resolves and can take weeks to months to return to normal level. Measuring and charting the C-reactive protein values can prove useful in determining disease progress or the effectiveness of treatments. A high sensitivity C-reactive protein HSCRP test is more sensitive than a standard C-reactive protein. High sensitivity test can find smaller increases in C-reactive protein than a regular test. The high sensitivity C-reactive protein test can help show the risk of getting coronary artery disease. In coronary heart disease, the arteries of the heart narrows that can lead to a heart attack. A high level of high sensitivity C-reactive protein has been linked to an increased risk of heart attacks. A repeat heart attack can be predicted by high level of HSCRP. High sensitivity CRP can detect cardiovascular disease risk when in excess of 3 mg per liter and below 1 mg per liter will be at low risk. Thank you.